This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. To find out more or see how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Declarations of the Stamp Act Congress, 2nd October, 1765. The members of this Congress sincerely devoted with the warmest sentiments of affection and duty to His Majesty's person and the government inviolably attached to the present happy establishment of the Protestant succession, and with minds deeply impressed by a sense of the present and impending misfortunes of the British colonies on this continent, having considered as maturely as time will permit the circumstances of the said colonies, esteem it our indispensable duty to make the following declarations of our humble opinion respecting the most essential rights and liberties of the colonists, and of the grievances under which they labor by reason of the several late acts of parliament one that his majesty's subjects in these colonies owe the same allegiance to the crown of great britain that is owing from his subjects born within the realm and all due subordination to that august body the parliament of great britain two that his majesty's liege subjects in these colonies are entitled to all the inherent rights and liberties of his natural born subjects within the kingdom of great britain three that it is inseparably essential to the freedom of a people and the undoubted right of englishmen that of taxes be imposed on them but with their own consent given personally or by their representatives four that the people of these colonies are not and from their local circumstances cannot be represented in the house of commons in great britain five that the only representatives of the people of these colonies are persons chosen therein by themselves that no taxes ever have been or can be constitutionally imposed on them but by their respective legislatures six that all supplies to the crown being free gifts of the people it is unreasonable and inconsistent with the principles and the and spirit of the british constitution for the people of great britain to grant his majesty the property of the colonists seven that trial by jury is the inherent and invaluable right of every british subject in these colonies eight that the late act of parliament entitled an act for granting and applying certain stamp duties and other duties in the british colonies and plantations in america etc by imposing taxes on the inhabitants of these colonies and the said act and several other acts by extending the jurisdiction of the courts and the admiralty beyond its ancient limits have a manifest tendency to subvert the rights and liberties of the colonists nine that the duties imposed by several late acts of parliament from the peculiar circumstances of these colonies will be extremely will be extremely burthensome and grievous and from the scarcity of specie the payment of them absolutely impractical ten that as the profits of the trade of these colonies ultimately centre in great britain pay for the manufactures which they are obliged to take from thence they eventually contribute very largely to all supplies granted there to the crown eleven that the restrictions imposed by several late acts of parliament on the trade of these colonies will render them unable to purchase the manufactures of great britain twelve that the increased prosperity and happiness of these colonies depend on the full and free enjoyments of their rights and liberties and an intercourse with great britain mutually affectionate and advantageous thirteen that it is the right of the british subjects in these colonies to petition the king or either house of parliament lastly that it is the indispensable duty of these colonies to the best of sovereigns to the mother country and to themselves to endeavour by a loyal and dutiful address to his majesty and humble applications to both houses of parliament to procure the repeal of the act for granting and applying certain stamp duties of all clauses and any other acts of parliament whereby the jurisdiction of the admiralty is extended as aforesaid and the other late acts for the restriction of american commerce End of recording.